everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I have a 12 by 12 staple backed canvas and I'm going to do a strainer pour. I don't think I've ever done a strainer pour since I started doing videos. So let's go over my paints. Liquitec Basics Unbleached Titanium and Castle Art Supplies Raw Umber. And I did just add a little dollop of the uh, Blickrick Black to that. My next color is the Deco Art Metallic Rose Gold. Very pretty color. Amsterdam uh, Phalo Blue. And my last color is the Blickrick Turquoise. Pouring medium today is 70% uh, Elmer's Glue All, 30% water, and if I needed to thin it, I just used um, regular water to thin it. No silicone is added today, and I do have a thin layer of the Artist's Law Flow Acrylic White down over the whole canvas, the sides and the edges to help the paint flow. So let's get started. I thought, and I've mentioned this before, Fridays I just like to do a simple pour. Happy Friday, everybody. Seemed like this week just flew by. I don't know if it felt like that for all of you out there, but it did for me. And some of you new to um, my channel or new to acrylic pouring, this is a fun pour to do. It's not, it's not very difficult. Just layer the paints. Let them go through the strainer. And then you tip. I might have to keep turning my canvas to get the paint to distribute evenly. Matter of fact, I think I'll do that right now. Hope it's nice and warm wherever you are. Today is kind of balmy where I am, unusual, but we're expecting freezing rain and all that good stuff tonight. I think I'll have plenty of paint for this painting.
one more layer and I think I'll be done. And keep you in frame here. And I will put the rose gold in last. Okay. Just let that settle a minute. Let's see if I can help it here. Okay. I do like that middle part. Okay. Start some tipping here. Like I said, I do have plenty of paint on here. I'll try to remember to bring that back in the center after I, I tip it out a little bit. Don't want to lose that turquoise, it's so pretty. Still try and bring it back into the middle here. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it here. Just 
just trying to decide how I want this composition on this one. It's actually looking very good right now. Very pretty. I'm checking my sides and my corners here. I think that turned out very nice. I, I really don't want to tip any more of it off. bottoms here. And I will do another torch. Just bring it down a little bit here. Okay, just going to take my skewer here. Just touch the, this middle part here a little bit. Okay, I really like that, and I don't think there's anything else that I'd like to do to it. I really like, like this color combination. I'm going to get you down for a close-up, see what you think. Okay, this is the upper left-hand corner. And that's that turquoise that I wanted to preserve there. I just really think that's pretty in that corner. We've got a few little cells popping up here, real teeny little turquoise cells. It's pretty in here how this all came together. That is the lower left-hand corner. Again, multiple little little teeny teeny cells and I'll take you up the middle here and there's that middle oh 
over here again I tried to preserve that turquoise there and that's the upper right And here's the lower right. Very pretty. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. Then until next time, take care everybody. And thanks for watching. Bye.